is <clears throat> 6 55 p.m. show load time so it must be five minutes till 10 Eastern time it's about uh, about 85 percent eclipsed uh, uh, a couple days crescent moon but you can see the whole moon. <laughs> you know, I can see the outline of the moon. In about five minutes, it'll be total. For an hour and a half, it'll be total. <laughs> you know, that's a long time. I, I don't know if I can wait that long. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get hungry. Feed <laughs> you know? me. Plus, I gotta go in to buy a pack of cigarettes. Only got a couple left. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm gonna pause this and find a place quiet. Find a place quiet and dark, as dark as I can get it. So, I just saw an incredible fireball shot across the Sky from the southeast to the north, northeast. Beautiful, kind of orangish, long tail. It was in the sky, but for about oh, fifteen seconds. <laughs> the moon's about ninety-five percent gone, and it is. 6.59. Hey, where's Orion? Damn ambient light. I hadn't thought about these lights everywhere. Yeah. I didn't realize these lights were going to be here. Huh. Curses. Because they're starting to hurt my eyes. You know, it's right in my field of vision. About four or five or six of them, everywhere I try to walk, it's like every 30 feet they have a street light. <clears throat> Anyhow, probably can't see a thing, so I'm going to pause it, because I have no idea how much storage I have left on this thing, or time, I should say. It's, <clears throat> it's 7.05 p.m. Show load time. It's about 98% eclipsed. You probably can't see this, so there's no sense <laughs> in wasting time trying, is there? <laughs> Anyhow, it was fun. A challenge. A challenge. And it's now, oh, there, see that flash? I did. <laughs> We're starting to, to, to go. It's starting to turn red. <laughs> the blood moon. The blood full moon. The fourth part of the tetrad. September 27th, 28th, depending on your time zone, 2015. In the year of our Lord, a day that will live in infamy. Because sometimes this only happens once every couple of hundred years. You know, no set pattern. Now they can figure it out now, but in the past I couldn't figure it out. And something bizarre always happened, <laughs> you know? War, all kinds of stuff. Wars would break out and all kinds of crap that affected the entire planet, or the people alive at the time. Anyhow, I should, I should pay more attention to the moon. Ta-ta. 7, <clears throat> 7, <clears throat> 7, 08 p.m.
you hardly you can hardly see the moon right now. It's like a tiny sliver of it. And now you can start to see the eclipse part of it, you know? The body of it. But without the sun reflection on it. Right now it's in the shadow of the earth. See, 250 some thousand miles away. Just floating out there. Uh, yeah. It's only mo moving about 20,000 miles per, per second, you know, like we are. You know, something like that. I forget the exact number anymore. Hurrying up to get, get nowhere. <laughs> There's a tiny. Oh, what's that noise? A tiny little bit left. It's almost like somebody's shining a pen light on one corner. <laughs> you know, it won't let go. <laughs> you know? I wish I had a good camera because this is a bird's eye view, except for that damn light right there. <laughs> Shit! It's bugging my eyes. Got to put my hand up in front of it. See my hand. My right hand, my foobard right hand. <laughs> Got to keep that light on my eyes. I didn't think to bring my hat. So, any second now, it'd be eclipse. 